This is a review of the topics we've covered this week. We've got calculation problems, which were the money problems, the use for calculator, systematic listing, and estimation. Calculation problems. So these are problems involving money. We've got an example that says you buy four teas for £1.95 each. So that's 195p four times. We've got three coffees for £2.15 each. So 215p three times. And six cakes for £1.39 each. So six times 139p. So we work out what each of these are, and then we're going to add the answers together. So four fives are 20. So zero in the ones and carry two over into the tens. Four nines, that's 36, plus the two makes 38. So eight in the tens and the three goes over to the hundreds. Four times one is four, plus the three is seven. So that's seven eighty, seven pounds eighty or seven hundred and eighty p. The next one, three times five is fifteen. So five in the ones carry one over. Three times one is three, plus the one is four. And three twos are six. So 645p or six pounds 45. And the last one, six nines, that's 54. So four in the ones carry five over. Six threes are 18, plus the five, 23. So three in the tens carry two over and six ones are six plus the two, that's eight. So we've got how much the teas are, the coffees are and the cakes are. Now we need to add them together. So we're gonna line up the numbers, hundreds with hundreds, tens with tens, ones with ones. And we add down. So start with the ones. 5 and 4 make 9, 8 plus 4 plus 3, so 12 plus 3 is 15, and 7 plus 6 plus 8, 7 and 6 make 13, plus 8, which is 21, plus 1, 22. So we've got 22 pounds and 59p. Okay, one for you to try here. So pause the video and give it a go. So we've got four burgers for two pounds 80 each. So 280p times four. Two portions of chips for one pound 29 each so 129 times two four drinks for one pound 15 each so 115 times four so four zeros are zero four eights are 32 and four twos are eight plus the three makes 11. two nines are 18 Eight in the ones carry one over. Two twos are four plus the one, so five. And two ones are two. And the last one, the drinks, four fives are 20. Four ones are four plus the two makes six. And four ones are four. So we've got 11 pounds 20 plus two pounds 58 plus four pounds 60. So we've got zero plus eight plus zero, which is eight. Two plus five plus six, seven plus six, that's 13. And one plus two is three, plus four is seven, plus one is eight. And we've just got one in the thousands. So that makes 18 pounds and 38 P. Using a calculator. This question says use a calculator 
to work out the value of. And in the example, we've got the square root of 45.8 plus 65.7 all over 1.19 cubed. So let's grab a calculator. So the first button we're going to press is our fraction button, which is the one that looks like this. So our fraction button. And then on the top line, it's the square root, so square root button of 55.8. Now we only want 55.8 in the square root, so click out of the square root before pressing plus 65.7. So only the, the square root is only over the 45.8. Then we click down to the bottom line and we've got 1.19 cubed, 1.19 cubed. And we've got our answer of 43.0034, 0189. And one for you to try here, so try and use your calculator to work out the value of the square root of 3.45 times 4.6 over 1.21 squared. So this time you want to press the square root first. The whole thing is under a square root, so the square root first and then the fraction button. So the fraction is in the square root. We've got 3.45 times 4.6, click to the bottom line, and 1.21 squared. So 3.292327981. systematic listing so this is listing all of the combinations or all of the outcomes of something and to make sure we've got them all we list them in a systematic way so follow a pattern the first question says here are four number cards write down all the two digit numbers that can be made from these cards so if we do all the options with the eight in the tens, and then all the options with the four in the tens, then all the options with the seven in the tens, and then all the options with one in the tens, that'll be a systematic way. So start with the eight, we could have 84, 87, and 81. They're all the options with eight in the tens, and then we could have four in the tens, and we could have 48, 47, or 41. If we had 7 in the tens, we'd have 78, 74, and 71. And if we had 1 in the tens, we could have 18, 14, and 17. And they are all the options. There's a question for you to try, so pause the video and give it a go. You flip a fair coin and throw a fair six-sided dice. The coin can land on heads or tails. The dice can land on one, two, three, four, five, or six. List all the possible outcomes. So if we got a head for the coin, we could get a one, a two, a three, a four, a five, or a six. And if we got the tail, we could get one, two, three, four, five, or six. And they are all the outcomes. Estimation. Estimate the area of the rectangle. So to estimate, we are going to round the numbers to make the calculation easier. So we've got 7.95 centimetres for the width 
if we round that to one significant figure, that will be eight centimeters. So the first non-zero number is a seven. The one after it's a nine, which is five or above. So it rounds up to eight. And then for 19.2 to one significant figure, the first non-zero number is the one, which is worth 10. The number after it's a nine, which again is five or above. So it rounds up to a two, which will be worth 20. The area of a rectangle is a length times the width. So 20 times eight, two eights are 16. And we add the zero on. So it's a 160 centimeters squared. Is that an overestimate or an underestimate? Is it over the real answer or under the real answer? So we rounded both of these numbers up in the calculation. So this answer is going to be bigger than the real answer. 19.2 times 7.95 will be less than 160. So it's over the real answer. So it's an overestimate. And one for you to try here. So give it a go. Work out an estimate for the answer to 21.7 times 9.97 over 0 0.53. So we're going to round them all to one significant figure to make the calculation as easy as possible. So it's something that we don't need to use a calculator for or we don't need to use a written method. So 21.7 to one significant figure. The first non-zero number is the two, which is worth 20. The one after it is a one, which is below five. So it doesn't round up. It will stay as 20. Then we've got 9.97. The first non-zero number is a nine. The one after it's a nine, which is five or above. So it rounds up to a 10. And we've got 0 0.53. The first non-zero number is the five. The one after it's a three. So it doesn't round up, it's below five. So it stays at 0 0.5. So we've got 20 times 10 over 0 0.5. 20 times 10 is 200. How many halves go into 200? And if we don't want to do that calculation, we don't want a decimal, we can, well, in this case, we can double top and bottom. So 400 over one with a fraction, as long as you do the same to the top and the bottom, it will stay equivalent. So you can double top and bottom or times them both by 10 and it will stay equivalent. So 200 over 0 0.5 is the same as 400 divided by one, which is 400. And that was the week five review. So there's an assessment now available. The link will be in the description on YouTube or at the bottom of the page if you're watching on the website.